My name is Tyler. Oh, and, and, and I'm Zara. And we are both so glad that you guys are here today. Yeah, we're gonna have so much fun. We're gonna sing and dance, and, oh, and learn, and, oh, wait, Tyler. Yeah. What should we do first? There are so many fun things. There are a lot of fun things to do. I think we should start by singing a song to Jesus. <laughs> Oh, yeah! So, okay, kids, stand up. And get ready to sing! Here we go! This song is called Brave. It's all about how God's love makes us brave. We're going to start by singing, No, I won't be afraid, for you are with me. Let's go. No, I won't be afraid, you are with me. You are right beside me every day. Great job, guys. You can go ahead and take a seat. Yeah, that was such good singing. I love that song. Me too. So, uh, what's next, Tyler? Well, today we're going to learn about daring faith. And when we have daring faith, we're brave and we follow Jesus. Oh, I, oh, I want to have daring faith. Me too. So let's go ahead and learn how do we do that. Uh, how? Well, our friends Bestos and Pastor Steve are going to teach us. Oh, cool! <laughs> so everybody, put your thinking caps on. And your listening ears. And let's watch Bestos Asks. I'm ready. Yeah. 
This is Bestos Asks with Pastor Steve. Hello and welcome to Bestos Asks. Yay! So, Mr. Pastor Steve. Yes, Bestos. What is that thing called that is blue and wet? Blue and... You mean water? Yes, water. That is it. Okay. And what is it called when it is all bunched up together like something bigger than a cup? Like a ocean or a sea? Oh, that is it, a sea. All right, all right. So how do you cross a sea? Well, a lot of people just use a boat. What oh, don't have a boat, how else? Uh, well, you could cross on a bridge. What, there is no bridge. And I'm not allowed to use Hans powder tools ever since I saw the hole in the TV. Okay, so no bridge. Well, um, I guess you could just swim across. Hmm, but I don't like getting wet. Well, then, Bestos, you're kind of all out of options. So there is no other way? Well, there was this one time in the Bible where God split the Red Sea so that the Israelites could cross over to the other side. Well, I want to do that. Can I hear the story? Of course you can. Just watch. There once was a man named Moses who led the Israelites out of slavery in Egypt. The Israelites stood by the shore of the Red Sea knowing that the Egyptian army was coming for them. And God spoke to Moses and said, Lift up your staff and stretch your hand out over the sea. The Lord opened a path through the water, and the people of Israel walked through the middle of the sea with walls of water on each side. When all the Israelites had reached the other side, the Lord said to Moses, Raise your hand over the sea again. And Moses raised his hand over the sea, and the waters rushed back into place. That was pretty impressive. Yeah, I'd say so. But it would never work for me. Well, the story is miraculous, and it, and it was also for a very specific reason. You see, God had to open the Red Sea so that the Israelites could cross over to the other side to get away from the mean guys, the Egyptians who were chasing them. But that doesn't mean that God can't do miraculous things in your life today. In fact, God will do miraculous things. We just have to have faith and trust Him. You are right, Mr. Pastor Steve. But that would still never work for me. Well, why not? Because I don't have a stick like Moses. Oh, Bestos, it, it wasn't about the stick. The stick isn't what parted the Red Sea. It was God who parted the Red Sea. Oh, well, that changes everything. Bestos, why do you need to get across a sea anyway? No, I don't. Well, then why are you asking me all these questions about crossing the sea? Oh, because I wanted to ask you to get me a stick for my birthday! Yay! Wait, wait a minute. You mean you went through this whole thing just to ask me to get you a stick for your birthday? Yes, I really want a stick, but Han said that I can't have one. Why not? Because I stuck the last one through our refrigerator and all of our juice got warm. Okay, I, I'm not even going to ask. Well, that's good because this is Bestos Asks and I'm the one doing the asking. Well, thanks for joining us, guys, and we'll see you next time. Yay! And next time, I will have a stick. We'll talk about that later. But, but you said. I didn't say anything about you getting a stick. But I imagine it. You said that I could get a stick. That's not the same thing as me actually saying I would get you one. But, 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 no. but, 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 He is so silly, but we learned something, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, but hey, what are we going to do now? Well, now we need everyone to stand up on their feet. Okay, kids, stand up on your feet. And we are going to learn our Bible verse. <gasps> oh, yay, <laughs> we get to sing again. Yes, we do. So here it comes. Three, two, one. Let's all jump together. This song is Ephesians 3.20. It says, with God's power working in us, God can do much, much more than anything we ask or imagine. Let's sing it.
Great job, kids. You guys can take a seat now. Okay, Zara, do you know what we're doing next? Um, uh, no, I don't know. We are gonna watch Scuppets in Space. What's in space? You're gonna have to watch and find out. Okay, oh, um, so I will have to put on my thinking cap again. Come on, kids, put on your thinking cap with me. Mm-hmm, and also, don't forget your listening ears. Everyone put your listening ears back on, mm -hmm. like this. Oh, hey, Tyler. Yeah. If we're going into space, we'll have to blast off. You are very right. Okay, so everyone make a rocket ship like this. And we're going to blast off in three. Two. One. <laughs> On scuppets of no scuppets in no in my scuppet no the space in oh I know scuppets in space everybody said that some weird things were happening in scuppet in but I did not really know what they were talking about because everything seemed normal to me they said they were going to space ah so I said I go but they said uh Wilson and Hector but but that's okay because I press buttons and they go blast out in space. But then they ran into a naturally field, and and then I had to get out of it. But then they did, they did, and so now everything is fine. But now they are here. No, no, they are not here. They're still in space. Hey, on! Did I say everything okay? Yes, brother. So can I put the button now? Yes. Yay! You know, Hector, being up here just makes me think about how small we are. You know, in the whole scheme of things. What are you yapping about over there? Nah, never mind. Wow, look at the moon. I've never seen it this close before. Well, you've never been in space before. You know how everyone always says you can see a face in the moon? I never see it. Well, there's your problem. Moon's over here. No, it's over here. Winston, that's no moon. It's a... Actually, that is a moon. Told you. Winston, there are two moons. What? Two moons. <gasps> oh no! Well, I guess we found the problem. Scuppetin, come in! Hello, anyone? Anyone? Is anyone there? Hello? Oh, good, Bestos. I'm Bestos. Listen, we know. There's a problem? Yes, why do you think I've been doing all this? Because I like to press the buttons. No, you laugh. Bestos, there are two moons. Two moons? Yes, two moons. But, 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 aren't there always two moons? No, there's just one. Two moons. Oh, two moons. Fine, two moons, two moons, two moons. Everybody open the eyes, two uh, moons. Uh, Get up. What is it? There are two moons. What? I said there are two moons! That explains everything. It does? Yes. How? Our universe is perfectly in balance. So, if there are two moons now instead of one, that definitely explains all the weird things happening here. But the question is, how did it get there? I think the question is, how do we get it out of here? All right, right. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Hector, Winston, how is the moon affecting you up there? Well, I think our rocket is undecided about which moon it wants to go to. Interesting. The moons are fighting each other's gravitational forces. Ah! Give me a minute to figure it out. Sure, take your time. Yeah, whatever you need. So, what do we do now? I don't know yet. Do you know now? Still not yet. What about now? Not yet. I'm trying to figure it out. But I need some quiet. 
<laughs> hey, Han. What about now? Ah! Ah. Oops. Oh, mother? That must have been a long time. Hector! No! Hector! No! Hector, we have to be brave! We have to take control of the ship! Well, I'm too afraid to be brave! Hector, being brave isn't about not being afraid! To be brave, you have to do the right thing, even when you're afraid! You have to face your fears! Well, I'm afraid we're gonna get tossed in one of those moons over there! So face that fear and take the wheel! Uh, all right, here I go! Uh. You did it! I knew you could be brave! Hey, all you scuppets down there! It's time to be brave, okay? Copy that! But we still do not have a plan. Actually, we do. You figured it out? Well, yes. But let me just say first that this is a radical idea. Sounds like a plan to me! Let's get going! I haven't told you the plan yet. Okay. Well, we need to get the second moon out of orbit. And the only way to do that is to change its speed, so it drops out on its own. And how do we do that? Oh, that's easy! Just step a rocket to it! Come on, Bestos. Be serious. That's actually exactly what we are going to do. Blast off! Well, but... But what about Hector and Winston? They will be fine if we execute the plan correctly. Meaning what? Meaning everyone has to do their part at exactly the right time. No mistakes. Blast off! Wow, that was great! Great listening, guys. And great learning. We'll see you all next time. Yes, we will. And until then, remember to have daring faith. Be brave and follow Jesus. Bye. See you guys. Later.